Plants were always toxic to us. Meat never was. This is a list of meat that is deadly toxic to humans. Polar bear liver, because it's high in vitamin A. Too much vitamin A will kill us. Raw shark, because it's high in urea. We've got the puffer fish, it's a neurotoxin, and the Nemora jellyfish. These are the only meats that are toxic to us. We can eat anything else. The plants are toxic crowd loves to ignore that there are actually plenty of animals that can be toxic to eat or even touch. Here are just a few examples. Poison dart frogs and several other frogs and toads. The hooded pitahui and European quails. Keelback snakes and blue ringed octopuses. Certain moths and butterflies. Gorilla crabs and certain starfish. Hammerhead flatworms and blister beetles. And many, many more. Now you may be thinking, but we don't eat those. And that's exactly the point. Humans have learned to consume the animals that are not toxic, just like we've learned to consume the up to 30,000 plants that are not toxic. And when we evaluate the research on those non-toxic options, we see that consumption of plant foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and nuts and seeds is consistently associated with better long-term health outcomes, while certain animal foods like red meat are associated with poorer outcomes. So that type of research is much more relevant to deciding which sorts of dietary patterns are healthier for humans to consume when we specifically consider the foods we actually eat.